Our third and final phase is a bit of a unique phase because it actually starts before phase two execution has been completed. Um, you want to get your marketing started as early as possible, get your website developed. Um, I mean, are you being a company owner yourself, how, how important is getting this stuff started as soon as possible? So this phase we're calling an establishment phase. As you know, we, we came up with it because uh, we're, we're talking about everything that's done after construction. However, you did mention that the phase technically starts before the construction is over. The reason is because you want to be prepared for it, right? Uh, you want to make sure you know your, your marketing is up and going. Uh, you want to have a website developed or in the process of being developed. You want to definitely have your logos, which you've already done in the design stages, because a lot of times in the design stages, your logo does matter. So you've already came up with part of your marketing plan, so to speak. Uh, so you want to make sure all that stuff is done. You have it coming soon on your website. Uh, you've got business cards selected. Uh, you'll be surprised how many uh, dentists get all the way to the end. They finish construction, they're ready to move in, and sometimes they haven't started their marketing. And if you're waiting until one thing ends for you to start another thing, uh, you're going to be losing a lot of time mm -hmm. and money. As you know, time is money. Um, so yeah, that's part of marketing, that this phase includes marketing. Uh, it also includes staffing. Staffing is one of the most important thing. Uh, you got to make sure you're hiring the right staff. So while uh, phase, ex uh, phase two, uh, execution phase, the construction is being built, you're interviewing your staff. You're finding out who you're hiring. Uh, you're making sure you're collecting the right team. Uh, once you have that team, you got to now train them. So at the end of your execution phase where your space is ready, you have occupancy, you're moving in, you're making sure you're coordinating, you're planning, you're putting things away, you're getting yourself trained, your staff trained. There are multiple types of training, the training on the business procedure of things versus training on the dental equipment. Uh, a lot of people don't know, even though they're working in dental offices, there are so many different types of dental equipment that you need to not only train yourselves in, but also test the equipment. You don't want to just open up an office and start seeing patients tomorrow. You want to make sure you're testing it. Everyone knows how to operate it, uh, train them. you got employee handbooks. So you got to have to start some sort of a small HR uh, procedure, uh, which you've got to have employee handbooks to, uh, so that your employees know, you know your, your company rules and regulations, so to speak. Uh, and most importantly, you've got uh, insurance credential. What insurances you're going to take, you got to make sure you've negotiated with the insurances, you've recorded yourself, everything is ready to go so that when patients come in, you know the form of payment, the form of insurances, what you're expect, accepting, what you're not accepting, and all that. And all that stuff, we're phasing it and calling it our um, um, establishment phase um, to make things simpler for kind of uh, the ultimate end goal of you're up and running and operating and hopefully if you've done this um, properly you're going to be very uh, successful. Correct. If the establishment phase is moving in the right direction you're getting patients walking through that front door as soon as possible and that's the ultimate goal.